Hume. We've just kicked off and it's uh, Barnett kicking from left to right, attacking the Katax Golf Road end in the first half. Thank you, Brian. Good afternoon again. We are underway here and uh, it's a beautiful day, as you can see from the picture. Colclough takes. Towards the back post, headed away by Barnett. Challenges in the air by Smith there. It falls to Malarkey. And there's Dan Mooney. Decent effort by Mooney. Can't get it past the first man. Here's Colclough. Oh! oh what a goal by Ryan Colclough. I was saying then what he can do when he gets the ball at his feet. He, he may have scored a fluke goal against Maidenhead a few games ago, but there was nothing fluky about that. Well, first of all, uh, the free kick was headed clear by uh, Ryan Daly, by Liam Daly. It came out uh, to uh, Colclough. A bit of a question mark as to, to the way he got down there. He certainly got across to it, but he couldn't stop it. Yeah, I think it was right inside the post, wasn't it? Um, it was at his near post, you could say, but it was a great strike by Colclough. It's a cross here by Vaughan towards the back post. Claims the handball there by Ultracombe defenders. Nothing's given. It's Mason Clark on the ball, gets towards the byline, chops back. Good skillful play, but can't get the ball into the box there. And uh, Kirby looks to bring the ball away and in the end wins the throw in. The kick didn't really beat the first man. This one goes in towards the back post this time and it's well punched by Tony Thompson. It falls to Mason Clark on the edge of the area. Up against Kirby, he gets a shot away. He drags it somewhat and uh, just drags it wide of the near post there. In the 2-1 win at uh, Torquay when he hit the bar early on and then got that injury. Uh, and it really is good to see him back. Here's Colclough again latching onto a loose pass by Barnett and uh, he wins the free kick. There are some players in the box who I'm sure we're following up on this. Good effort by Colclough and it's parried away. Chance here. Yes! Oh, it's Alistair Smith. Fantastic play. Lovely goal. It's a good free kick by Colclough. It, lo it looks fairly comfortable in the end by Izarze. Could he have parried it away for a corner kick perhaps? In the end, it was put back into the six yard box and it was a nice nodded finish by Alistair Smith. Yeah, the free kick parried away. Sutton, nice little foot. There must have been 15 players in and around the six yard box. It was an amazing sort of melee, but they eventually got it cleared, but it takes it out of you. It's a physical, it's a big, big physical ask. I think those um, fixtures being played earlier in the season is starting to show now for Ultragum. There's not as much fixture congestion for us, whereas other sides are having that problem. Here's Cole Club with another chance here. Empty goal if, if he can find it. Can't quite do so, and in the end, uh, Lee Vaughan, the right back for Barnett, can bring this one away, but half a chance there. It was, and once again, Azazi wasn't really positive uh, he, enough. Uh, again, he's, it wasn't a howler, but he, he, he could have done trying to get past his man there, and in the end, it's cleared up towards Baker Richardson, and he's got no support, and it goes back towards Toby Malarkey. Here is Ogle. So 26 minutes gone here at the J. Davidson Stadium. It's a lovely day for a game of football. And Ulti winning 2-0. Now here come Barnett on the counter-attack. It's a little flick there by Baker Richardson, trying to get past uh, Malarkey. In the end, it's out wide towards Lee Vaughan. What can Vaughan do here? Lee Vaughan forced back by the Ulti players, and the, the ball's in the air, and Jake Malt plays it to Smith. It's back now with Tony Thompson. Bit of a dodgy first cut touch there by Thompson. In the end, it's half played only as far as McQueen here. It's a chance into the box. Oh, it's flashed wide. It's a good opportunity that shaky. Obviously aware of White running to his left, and right was on the White was on the gallops, and uh, great cross for for Hancock, and Hancock did the rest. Here's Ogle. Now Colclough cutting on his right hand side, can he get a shot away, cuts back on his left, just about keeps his footing there, into the box he goes. Oh, this is really good play by Colclough, is there a shot at the end of it? There is, but it's quite a Here's Smith, he's been very impressive today, Alistair Smith, he's found some really good space, shot by Colclough. Well, he's a save, but it wasn't a convincing save, was it? I think he could have held that one, perhaps. It was I I, no, I think, he's done, I think he's done the right thing, and he's, he's got it out for a uh, corner. Well struck by uh, Ryan Colclough. You've got to now, and the corner will be taken towards the near post, well, towards the edge, edge of the area, I should say. Hooked in by Kirby, back to Mooney. It's a ja oh, oh! that was agonisingly close, and the keeper was scrambling across his goal there. You couldn't quite tell from our angle. But Kirby, good pass by Mooney. Kirby decides to cut back on himself. I thought he might have gone for goal there, but here's Mooney, and that's a late challenge by the Barnet man, but Ulti retained possession. Here's Joel Senior. Good tackle, good tackle by um, number 23, Sam Bird. Yeah, was the... Uh 
the man who's uh, joined from the door. Oh, there's trouble. No, that's poor. From the stroke of half time, that's the last thing you need. Barnet have one back. They've, uh, you couldn't say they've deserved it. They haven't been that good since the opening first few minutes, but they have got a goal in the stroke of half time, and that will give them a real chance in this second half. To yeah, it's got a deep crossing opportunity here. The players are forward. Daly's up there. Preston's up there. One in the air by the number 20, Baker Richardson. But I think it hit his shoulder, perhaps. He didn't make clean enough contact, and he's just gone wider than their post. I think that's just the way the, the, the way he is. But uh, you know, every now and, now and again, you need to launch one. Here's Niall Bell through on goal here. Can he, oh, I thought for a second he might have taken a first-time shot. He, he does keep hold of the ball, though. Over towards Ogle. Oh, it's a good left foot. He crossed by Ogle in towards Kirby. He's going to force to Smith. Takes a deflection, and that will be a corner kick. Left-hand side. This is, of course, where Barnet are most dangerous. They haven't really created too much, but have been dangerous from set pieces. Well, he was free at the back post there. Great um, header from Richie Sutton. Yeah, good header, though, to clear. Chance, chance here, though. Great, strong fist by Tony Thompson. Danger's not cleared yet, though. Think back towards the far post. It's McQueen. He's got Baird in support. Shot by McQueen. And in the end, it's the danger is cleared for now. Scrambled defending at times, I think. Good block by Connor Kirby. And a terrific uh, save, right-handed save by uh, Tony Thompson. Kept us in it there. Yeah, I think it took a slight deflection as well Possibly on the way so. through. Here's Connor Kirby. He's got to be careful now on that yellow card. But on this occasion, he's the man who's fouled. So Alti can relieve the pressure. And Connor Kirby waves to the team, get up the pitch. Let's get out of, get out of our half and play further up the pitch. Barnett seems to be the sort of side. They're not really capable of creating much from open play than not not too many clear cut chances in this in this second half. I can think of the one chance which Tony Thompson had to save for Barnet, but nothing for Altrigham I would I would say in this second half. No, so far. It, it's still still an interesting uh, still an interesting game and of course uh, very much a contest. Here's Baker Richardson bundling his way through plays. It's a decent effort just wide of the far post there, but Baker Richardson He's not had the opportunity to turn and run up plays too often in this game. He's held it up pretty well and flicked balls on, but that was a chance to really turn and drive at the ulti back four. In the end, he's finished, let him down, though. And he might have got a bit of cramp here, perhaps, in yes. the process. And it have the ball in defence with Liam Daly. Over towards Petrasso, up against Jolcini. He does, he does well there, Petrasso, back on his right foot. Oh, that's a really good effort, really good chance. His hands are on his head. I think, I think he knows he should have scored there. That's a really good ball by Petrasso. And I think, was it McQueen who was in there? A, a push the Robins all the way, particularly in this half. I think if there is going to be another goal, you'd fancy Barnet currently, in my opinion. That could well be the case. However, I think as, as you know, we're now into the last uh, 20 minutes and as the game wears on, I think we're going to see Barnet uh, throwing more men forward, possibly further uh, substitution or, uh, or or two. Uh, Colclough slows the game down a bit, but Ogle's on the overlap. Here goes Ogle down the left-hand side, being chased back by Matt Preston. Ball falls to Kirby. Kirby tries to pick out Tom Piers. He does so in the end, but Tom Piers has to go back on himself. Oh, it's a good shot. That that was uh, that was travelling, wasn't it? Fortunately for Aldrigham, it falls to Sutton, who plays it long up towards. Kirby, CC might get there instead though. No. In the end, Malt tries to pass it forward. Oh, this is no. a chance here. Chance here's Mason Clark. Oh, it's too all. The ball was given away sloppily by Jake Malt. That was a sloppy piece of play by Altrincham. They couldn't find the right pass, and in the end, it was given away by Malt. It was a and really uh, sloppy uh, piece of play. Yeah, Jake Malt, poor touch, and uh, away. <laughs> goes the, uh, the, the the Barnet man, uh, Mason Clark, and it's a good competent uh, finish. No real chance for Tony Thompson and an equaliser, which I wouldn't say has been coming, but you could see that, that Barnet could equalise in this game. And a game that Altrigham uh, should have won comfortably is now level with uh, two minutes plus added time to go. Well, Brian, you did say there was one more goal in this second half, and you were right, and it's gone to Barnet, and... They have been the side creating the chances. Front to number 17. And it's going to be Lee Vaughan. Barnet pressing on here. They don't They don't just want to settle for a point. Into the box the ball goes and Alti clear it. 
Jake Bolt. Ball's going to come back though. It's uh, Petrasso who flicks on towards McQueen. Flicks on again towards Mason Clark. Chance here, danger. Shot by McQueen. Well, oh, it's 3-2. They've turned it around. This is extraordinary. Barnett have done it. It's Tommy Adeloy. <laughs> you said it. You predicted it, Brian. It's a substitute who's come on just and um, cycled in there, and the ball was uh, turned in. And there's Adeloy with just the final touch to make it 3-2 uh, to Barnett, and a dramatic turnaround here at uh, the J. Davidson uh, Stadium, altering him two goals up after 16 minutes. 2-1 up with just uh, three minutes to go. And now 3-2 down. That's quite extraordinary. I mean, Ultram are throwing it away. All down to their own making. And, but fair play to Barnett. They've capitalised. They've, they've done well. They've, they've played to their strengths. They've won those set pieces. They've made the most of those throw-ins. And they've managed to, to ca capitalise on our mistakes. And um, they've turned this around. Tony Thompson with the free kick. Played long up towards Sutton, one in the air by Daly, might fall towards Ogle, Ulti trying to win the second ball, Colclough here, appeals for round ball, nothing's given, Jake Moore from a chance, oh it's a last ditch tackle, I think it was Matt Preston back it's there, it's Beard, it's Beard, Beard sorry yeah it's Beard, what a fantastic challenge that was, it was just, it was just going to be a tap in for Jake Moore wasn't it? Um, and in the end, it, it was, was certainly a decent uh, opportunity but you've got to admire the defending there, phenomenal. Alti have looked a bit more threatening in these last couple of minutes, but it's taken until Barnett have gone ahead for that to happen, and there goes the full-time whistle.